How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 My NBA Career Simulation. So we're going to be resuming the career of Steve Nash. Thank you to Panther for the idea. Uh, it's going to be an exciting one. Before we get on to the gameplay, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy the content. Comment down below this video. Let's go to socials, play the section on the main channel. Down in the description, if you like the content, me TJP. So yeah, Steve Nash, uh, doing his career, like I said, should be an interesting one. Uh, since he's had a very good career, but we'll see if maybe in the game. It'll be better out. Maybe he'll win a championship in this uh, sim in simulation. We'll never know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, same rules apply. His injury's going to be on, though. Uh, because we want to make it kind of realistic in the sense of, you know, he could still get hurt. But with that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so every journey starts here. We got the draft letter. I'm not going to watch the entire thing. But you can see who's got picks here. So the Lakers have a chance, best chance to get the number one pick. They might get it. Uh, now, granted, Steve Nash will not be going number one overall. But... We'll see where he ends up deciding to go. Maybe it'll probably be a top five pick, I would assume. Uh, the Sonics get the number one pick. Okay, Sonics number was Lakers, Raptors, Bucks, Bullet. Okay, interesting stuff. So I, I assume Steve Nash will be in the top five uh, for sure, but you never know. We're going to go to the NBA draft. Maybe he somehow slips. Um, nevertheless, uh, let's see who is going to be taking Steve Nash in the draft. First pick, Seattle Supersonics will be selecting Kobe Bryant. Okay, so Kobe's going to Seattle in this situation uh second pick will be Allen Iverson so he's going to Minnesota the Lakers with the third pick will take Ray Allen from Connecticut and Steve Nash from Canada will he be drafted by the Raptors no Pejo Stojakovic from Serbia so still hasn't been picked up yet Milwaukee takes Stefan Marbury okay so he's not a top five pick not not number six. Number six, Antoine Walker. Okay, the seventh pick is Marcus Camby. Okay. Eighth pick, Golden State Warriors would be an interesting one, but they don't take him. Sharif Abdul Rahim. Wow, where's he gonna end up? Grizzlies? Everyone ends up on the Grizzlies, man. How does he end up in the Grizzlies? So he goes the ninth pick. He's playing in Canada. Uh so yeah, Vancouver. Vancouver Grizzlies take it, but I feel like we always end up, someone always ends up on the Grizzlies somehow. Maybe we'll take it, so. Uh, all right, so Steve Nash, pick number nine to Vancouver. Uh, I mean, that's a good pick, good pick, good value. Um, we'll see how he ends up doing in Vancouver. Great, he is coming in at the age of 22 years old, so he's definitely relatively old. Look at Kobe Bryant, 17 years of age, 83 overall. Crazy, absolutely crazy. All right, well, let's see what the Grizzlies are up to. All right, so Steve Nash's first uh, team, well, first season, he's gonna be having a uh, Mahmoud. He's got Terry. We got Terry Richmond, Danny Ferry. Uh, definitely not a great team, but uh, you know, Steve Nash going to be the guy, franchise guy going forward. Uh, so we'll see how he ends up doing. I imagine this team's gonna be missing the playoffs um, for a while, but uh, you, know, you never know. Maybe. Maybe something could happen here. But yeah, Steve Nash on the Grizzlies. Let's see how they do in, the, in his first season. All right, so first season, uh, I mean, they were terrible. Uh, but we are probably going to see Steve Nash on one of these rookie teams, I would assume. So let's see. Ew, we got him. Steve Nash, all rookie first team. That's good. Uh, how did he do in his first season? 14.5 points, 8.9 assists, pretty solid efficiency, almost 49 from the field and nearly 38 from 3, 82 and a half from the line. And he played in uh, all 82 games, so that's great. Um, of course, with the focus for Steve Nash is maybe see if he can break the all-time assist record. That'd be kind of dope. I don't know if he will, but we'll give it a shot. But yeah, all rookie first team in his first season. It's a promising start, but yeah, the team is really bad. Definitely need more talent, but maybe they'll have a good pick and uh, he could grow with somebody. Um, let's see who wins the uh, championship. Uh, it is going to be the Timberwolves. Who draft Allen Iverson and he leads them to a finals in his first season. So second season, we just missed out on the postseason. Now the team is going to be really good going forward. Reason being, uh, we're definitely gonna make the playoffs. Tim Duncan's on the squad. They drafted Tim Duncan with the number one overall pick, so that's gonna be insane for the team uh, going forward. And they have another lottery pick to add, but yeah, obviously getting Tim Duncan's gonna be huge. But yeah, Steve Nash almost 19 points a game, 10 is over 10 assists. And was extremely efficient. And he played in uh, 76 games. He missed some games this year, but nothing too crazy. I uh, don't know if he was an all-star. 
He was not? Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. He's he's going to feast, though, with Tim Duncan. That's a that's a nice dynamic duo going forward. So uh, we'll see what ends up happening. I think in their third season, they'll end up making the playoffs for the first time. Uh, we'll see. Maybe they can add a couple guys up to the team as well, whether that be through free agency. It'd be helpful. Minnesota Timberwolves win the finals again. And Allen Iverson, not the finals MVP. Bimbo Coles, finals MVP. All right, well, good news. Uh, we are in the playoffs. Now, Steve Nash is an all-NBA second-team performer as well. So that's a great season. 21.7 points, 10.7 assists. And, again, extremely efficient basketball being played by him. And he played in 76 games again. So good stuff from Steve Nash. Also, his teammate Tim Duncan's there uh, in his second season. I uh, don't expect him to be on any defensive teams, though. It is Steve Nash at the end of the day. But we were the three seed. And we got to take on the Spurs. We've got uh, Shaquille O'Neal. That's a tough first matchup. Uh, and what were we? I don't know what, what, what our record was, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's a tough matchup because Shaq is really good. But Tim Duncan could maybe be formidable. I mean, we'll see. Uh, I'm just looking at the rest of the team. I mean, other than Shaq, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, Sean Elliott's pretty solid. Chaney, Reggie Lewis. But Avery Johnson is... A 71 overall. So, I mean, yeah. AC Green. I mean, let's see if they can beat him. I don't know. Maybe they can beat him in five. We'll see. We'll see him at the round. And they will beat him in five. Okay. That's what I said. And now in the second round of the playoffs, taking on the Kings, whose best players, Jamal Mashburn. Uh, but they also got him McDice. They got a few guys. Got a Derek Fisher, uh, the Fisher man. And uh, we'll see how we can fare against the Kings. Can we beat them? Simulate the round, and ooh, tough seven-game series for the Grizzlies. But shout-out to them to make the postseason, and, and uh, Steve Nash making the postseason his third season. Uh, definitely helpful. I mean, they're, they're going to be good. They're going to be good uh, for sure going forward. Uh, leaders, uh, Steve Nash, you know, again, kind of there to facilitate. So 18.5 points is pretty solid. Uh, Brooke McLeod, this guy ended up doing really good. So good for him. Uh, yeah, 18.5 points, 10.8 assists. Not too bad. 47.6 from the field, 38, 91 from the line. Efficiency definitely went down for Steve Nash in his first postseason appearance. So maybe he'll uh, build upon that uh, going forward. But nevertheless, still a solid year for the Grizzlies within one game in the conference finals. Hawks beat the Kings. Yeah, so we lost to the good team that went to the finals. And Jason Kidd, finals MVP. Let's go on to our next season. Oh, the Grizzlies back in the playoffs uh, once again, and uh, Steve Nash all day third team this time. Good season, 50-40-90, his first 50-40-90 season, put up 11 assists. I mean, having Tim Duncan's definitely a, a a plus, you know, on this team to make him get a lot of assists. 82 games played, so he's been really durable so far for the most part he's played, uh, so that's good. Um uh, I was going to say, I want to check if he's been an all-star. So let me just double-check here. Look at the player stats. Uh, has he been an all-star yet? I would assume yes. He has been a two-time all-star. Obviously, second-team All-NBA and third-team All-NBA. And a first-team All-Rookie so far. So he's having a good career. Good start to his career for his fourth seasons. And, uh, you know, we'll see. He'll probably sign the extension. I mean, if he was smart, he would stay here. Um, nevertheless, uh, let's take a look and see what we got going on in the Playoffs we got the 18 Phoenix Suns. Should be a bit this team. Uh, the best player is Vin Baker. He's a 91 overall. That's pretty crazy. So we'll see how they can fare against the Suns. I would assume we should be able to sweep them. And Steve Nash and Tim Duncan and the Grizzlies sweep them. So now they got to face the Lakers. We've got uh, Nick Van Exel. They got Kenny Anderson, Vladi Divac, Michael Finley. It's a solid team, but oh Ray Allen, right? They have Ray Allen, but he's hurt. So should be able to take advantage of that. And they almost didn't because they almost blew a 3-1 lead. But they did end up winning and they're going to take on the Kings again. This time they win the conference finals. Derek Fisher's now a starter. So we'll see if they can maybe make a run and get to the finals here. Simulate the round. And yes, they beat the Kings in six. In the finals to take on the Orlando Magic, who's who uh, best player. They got Kendall Gill, but they also have Jermaine O'Neal, who's going to be pretty solid. Larry Johnson. I think they should be able to beat this team. I really do. Let's see. Game one, magic, vic ma magic victory by 11. Okay. Game two, magic victory by two points. And we're going to get swept. Uh, maybe someone's hurt. 
Okay, game one, game four, they win, and they lose in five. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Kendall Gill finals MVP. Uh, what happened in that last round? Nobody got hurt. We just kind of didn't play up to our standards. I mean, Steve Nash overall in the playoffs was pretty solid. Uh, but again, his numbers kind of dipped a little bit from the regular season. I mean, he was still good, but yeah, the numbers definitely dipped. How were we in the finals? Were we just bad in the finals? Like, I don't understand. Hmm. Yeah, we just weren't good, I guess. Uh, either way, got to the finals. Uh, let's see if uh, maybe Steve Nash decides to resign, which I'm sure he will. And in case you are curious, he did resign to a five-year contract. So that's pretty impressive. Also, we did draft Jason Williams. This was a couple seasons ago, so he's starting to come become a pretty solid back of a point guard in terms of overall. Um, and then they also got Mike Miller, who could be a good shooter. Okay. Not a bad, not a bad, not bad at all from the Grizzlies. I mean, obviously, two-headed monster and Tim Duncan, Steve Nash. You want to make sure you keep Tim Duncan around, too, for as long as you can. All right, so I didn't show you guys last season. It was a bit underwhelming now. Unfortunately, Tim Duncan is hurt, so that's going to be tough for our team. Um, and Steve Nash didn't you know, in the other all-made teams again. He didn't make it last season either. Uh, but we were a two-seed. We had a good year. Unfortunately, though, we're going to be out f without Tim Duncan for a bit. Uh, hopefully, we can have some guys step into the place. Steve Nash maybe take on a bigger role. I mean, he scored 23 points a game, 9.3 assists, and was 50-40-90 once again. He almost had 50-40-90 last season. But, yeah, it was a bit of an interesting year for him. But he, so far, he's been doing pretty good. Uh, last season, he played in 79 games. This year, 74. So, pretty durable for the most part. He's 20 years old already. He's only been in the league six years. I mean, obviously came in very late. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, taking on the Kings, our good old foes, who still have pretty much the same, you know, similar team. I mean, not that it really matters. Let's see if we can be able to beat them. No, we're going to get... We're going to... Yo, no, we do beat them in five. Let's go. Okay. Close one. All right, we're going to turn the 60 to Rockets. And we're going to do this without Steve Nash, who also is hurt. So... Our two best players are hurt. <laughs> what did Steve Nash get? Steve Nash, severe right ankle sprain. He's gone for the year. Okay, well, I guess if they win the championship, it's going to be without Steve Nash. So, I don't think they will. Well, they're conference finals. Without Tim Duncan and without... We got Sam Cassell. Um, I guess they traded for Sam Cassell. Without Tim Duncan and without Steve Nash... The team is surprisingly, and also Jason Williams is hurt too. This is incredible, an incredible run we're going on right now. Conference final. Maybe get Tim. If we can win a few games, maybe we can get Tim Duncan back, and he could somehow play in this series, and maybe they can win the finals. Uh, that's not happening. They got swept. <laughs> Never mind. That's not happening. They got swept. Um, and Tim Duncan, yeah, wasn't there. So honestly, though, good run though for the team without you know, Nash and uh, Duncan. But, yeah, Nash, in the five games he did play, was not good at all in the postseason, so he definitely struggled a lot. So that's unfortunate. Um, okay, well, let's go on to the next season. Oh, never mind, not next season yet. Uh, the Raptors in the finals. Now we go on the next season. All right, we're in the conference finals again. I just got to just sim past these first few rounds. Uh, but we're taking on the fifth seed of Nuggets. Um... Yeah, I mean, if we want to take a look at Nash's season, in case you guys are curious, um, I mean, oh, wow, we're taking on Tony Parker, Jason Kidd, Hito Turkoglu. Okay, this is an interesting Nuggets team. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, if you want to take a look at Steve Nash's season, he was a good, I mean, he scored a lot, and he's doing really well so far in the postseason in terms of scoring, especially on an efficient clip. Um, so, see, assists haven't been as high as I would think they would be. His scoring's actually a lot higher than I would have anticipated. And uh, this past season, he played in 79 games. So far, he's doing his thing in the playoffs. Love to see that, um, which is cool. He's doing good. So they got to take on the Nuggets. Can they get to the finals? They will not. They lose in five. And the Cavs and the Nuggets in the finals. Uh, Kevin Garnett's on the Cavs, right? And Nuggets win. Jason Kidd, finals MVP. All right, cool. All right, so just in case you guys... Uh, we're curious. Um, here we are. So yeah, um, the man, the myth, the legend, Tim Duncan has left the Grizzlies, and Steve Nash on one year left his contract. Now, without uh, Tim Duncan, this team is not that great. Um, don't know where he went. Out of curiosity, I'm kind of just curious to see where he would have went. Um, Oh, I thought he went to the Cavs. He went to Portland? He was on Portland. 
Let's just see who's on Portland. I'm just curious. So, let's team up Sean Marion, Larry Hughes. I guess they're a little bit better than us. I mean, I guess him and, yeah, him and Nash, I guess, just couldn't get over the hump. They got to a championship, but decided I'm going to leave. Um, so, Steve Nash, one more season. If I was him, I'd probably dip after this year. Uh, but you never know. We'll see what ends up happening. Well, this could be possibly Steve Nash's final season in uh, Memphis. I mean, he put up an un- Wow, he put up 31 points a game. That's insane. Uh, but it didn't make the po- they didn't make the playoffs, though. But, wow, he is scoring at a high, high clip. I did not see that happening. 31.4 points. I mean, I guess he had to do it. And he almost got his team to the playoffs, but... Played all these games, they missed out by a little bit. I mean, he tried his best. Uh, clearly, though, clearly he has the capability in the sim engine to score like 30-something points a damn game. That's, that's crazy. Um, obviously, he's an all-star. He's been a six-time all-star. I mean, he's had a solid career on the accolades. Still doesn't have a championship yet, but, I mean, he's been to a finals at least, which he has never been to a finals in real life. So there, he's got that going for him, but we'll see. He's right now kind of in the prime of his career. If I was him, I'd probably leave. Um, but you never know. Maybe he'll decide to stay loyal to Memphis. Uh, well, I guess it's Memphis now. Yeah, so we'll see what he decides to do. Uh, the Raptors and the Suns in the finals. Vin Baker and the Suns win the finals, and he gets the finals MVP. Good for him. So Steve Nash uh, took his talents to the Magic, uh, who've got a very old team in Leitner, Dennis Scott. I mean, Carlos Boozer's here, so I mean, I guess he can play with him. Kevin Martin's young, Wallace, uh, Ty Lue. Um, I mean, an interesting choice to go to Orlando, but I guess uh, maybe he might have more success in the East. I will see. All right, so just, um, we didn't make the playoffs, but I wanted to just show you guys how Steve Nash has done so far, but they didn't make the playoffs last year either. I mean, his, num- his scoring kind of dipped a bit, uh, but, I mean, he's still been up amazing efficiency, so that's that's good to see. Um, in terms of how many games he's played, he played 76 last season, 70 this year. I-, I hope he leaves. He's got one more year. Unless, like, we somehow draft, like, a superstar player or someone that can be a superstar, like, it doesn't really make any sense. I mean, seven-time All-Star right now, second-team all bay twice, third-team once, first-team rookie. It's a pretty solid career that Steve Nash has had so far. Nothing too insane, uh, but, you know, we'd like to see him maybe get a championship if he can. Um, he's still playing really well. He's playing really good basketball, high-level quality basketball, so uh, we'll see if it kind of stick. Um, and the Rockets win the finals. Lamar Odom, finals MVP. By the way, the Knicks won last season, in case you guys were curious. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it's Nash one more season in Orlando. Let's see if he can get this team to the playoffs at least once. Well, unfortunately, uh, the team didn't do great, uh, didn't make the playoffs. Uh, Steve Nash, not in the All-NBA teams. Uh, they did try to add some talent. Uh, they did draft Mike Conley, and they signed Corey McGetty. But other than that, Steve Nash was an all-star again. And, uh, I mean, 18 point, his scoring dipped a lot, 18.8 points, uh, 9.1 assists, 54-90 to 90 again. I mean, they're going to have another lottery pick, so there's that. Um, but I don't know if that's going to help out too much. I mean, Mike Conley's going to usually be a GOAT. He's usually a god in the sim, so that, that's something. I don't think Steve Nash is going to break the all-time assist record, but he can get to 10,000. Uh, 74 games played. Um, he's still 34, so he's starting tail end prime, but he still has a little bit of, uh, I'd say, b-ball left in him for sure. But I can see him starting to regress soon. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we'll see... If he decides to stay in Orlando or go somewhere else, maybe somewhere maybe he fits the timeline of the team a little bit better, and he can kind of just fill in and help the team compete. Uh, and the Lakers beat the Heat in the finals. Chris Bosh, finals MVP. Good for him. So Steve Nash decided, I'm going to go to the Oklahoma City Thunder to play with Kevin Duckworth Jr. I'm not sure how that came up with that, but sure, 2K. I mean, he's really good at 21, so that's, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, they got Sean Marion as well, Al Harrington. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting team. Nothing too crazy. They also have Jamal McKee. That's kind of cool. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, I guess we're going to pay attention to the Thunder for the next few seasons and see if maybe Steve Dash can be a better fit on the Thunder. Well, uh, the Thunder were the number one seed, so 
I will say this. Having a guy like Kevin Duckworth Jr. Uh, to run the pick and roll with or just anything. Wow, this guy also has seven assists a game, too. That's insane. I mean, it's definitely helpful for Steve Nash. It probably helped him, too, because that would all be a first team. Uh, so, yeah, in the playoffs, number one seed in the NBA, Steve Nash. Uh, helping out there. 23.3 points, 10 point assists. So, 50, 40, 90, he's got some guys to pass to. So, definitely a renaissance year. I don't know why he went to the Magic. Going to the Magic was a mistake for three seasons, but that's just me. Uh, nevertheless, he had a good year. No NBA, though. 79 uh, games played, so that's pretty solid. Back in the double digits for assists, and he was an all-star again in 2009. Still an all-star, nine-time all-star. Probably get, I hope he gets the double digits, which I think he will, which would definitely be a success in my book, uh, for sure. Uh, but now you got to take on Golden State, see if we can beat them. By the way, in case you guys are curious, the Magic did sign Vince Carter to replace him, and uh, the Magic are not in the playoffs. So they're just not, I guess, not a very good team yet. So let's see. You got the Golden State Warriors. Can we beat them? And they will beat them in five. Now I gotta take on the Suns in round number two. Uh, the Suns aren't that great of a team, but then again, they probably have someone hurt. Lance Gilmore, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know how this team is a four seed. I guess they're kind of got a lot of decent players, but I feel like we should be able to beat them. And I say that, and ooh, we do. But it took it seven games though. So in the conference finals, take on the two seed Clippers, who have a really good team. This is a really good team. Devin Harris, Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony. That's a lot of talent. A lot of talent. And their bench is pretty solid, too. Saw Derek Fisher there. So can they get to the finals? Or will they lose? They will lose to the Clippers in six. So it's a Bobcat. By the way, the Bobcats are really good, too. Bobcats and Clippers. And the Bobcats win Gilbert Arenas Finals MVP. How did... uh? Steve Nash do in this playoff run? Well, in case you guys were curious, he was very dominant. He had a really good playoff run. So, uh, unfortunately, just not good enough to get the team to the finals. Um, so he's right there. But this is a good team. He made a good choice to at least sign him with the Thunder. They're going to be good, at least. So Once again, a number one seed. And, I mean, uh, Nash had a good year again. Uh, almost shot perfect from the free throw line for the entire season, which would have been absolutely insane. So this guy's efficiency is off the charts. Numbers are dipping a little bit in the minutes, but he did play 80 games. He's had a solid year, and uh, yeah, he's over the 10,000 assist mark, so that's great too, and 20,000 points as well. So that's, in terms of numbers, I think he's actually also having a better career. Now the problem is, uh, I'm going to take on the Grizzlies, former team. The former team of Steve Ash, his original team, the Grizzlies, uh, in the first round, and they will win in seven they gave him a good fight so second round is upon us the timberwolves have derrick rose uh which is pretty insane how they got him alan iverson still here shout out to him Rudy gay wow it's a good team it's a good four seed i can see them losing the series and i say that and they get swept <laughs> so back in the conference finals to take on the suns who, you know, looking on their team at paper, it's not really that great. It should be able to get to the finals. I say that, though, and they almost lost. So I'm saying. It doesn't make any sense. So you got a Heat Thunder final. Heat Thunder final. Does it bring back memories? Now, the Heat look a little bit different. I mean, obviously, well, they have LeBron. They have LeBron, but they drafted LeBron. So going to be scary. Got Amari Stoudemire as well. Ilgalskis, but other than that, they're not that deep of a team, but obviously LeBron and Amari might just be enough to beat this team. Um, and we don't have our center, Kevin Duckworth Jr. So it is going to be hard to beat this team. Uh, is he hurt for this? Yep, lefty tendonitis. So that's why it's a bit, it was a bit challenging. So Steve Nash... Uh, need him to do a little bit better in that postseason. He's got a carry in the finals. Game one, Heat versus the Thunder. Heat win by 13. Game two, Heat win again. Game three, Thunder get a victory. Can we steal a game four? We can. Game five, Heat win. Can we force a game seven and we can go to Simcast? We can. Force in a game seven. Shout out to Mr. Steve Nash. Or how are we doing in the finals? Who's doing well in the finals right now? Uh, yeah, Steve Nash. Steve Nash trying his best in the finals. Game 7, Sim with Simcast here. Let's see if the Thunder are the home team. See if we can pull it out. 
First quarter was a good first quarter. Second quarter, not too bad. Third quarter, it's close. It is a close one. Back and forth. And the Thunder hold on, which means Steve Nash, who scores 29-13, and 13, has 29-13, wins his first finals in seven games, the Thunder. And he gets a finals MVP at the age of 36. That's impressive. That's very impressive. So shout out to Steve Nash. And without Kevin Duckworth Jr., the best player who's out for the entire postseason, that is an impressive win, I'd say. And yeah, he had a really good finals, which definitely bolstered up the playoff numbers a little bit. I guess he wasn't doing as great before, but stepped it up in the finals, wins finals MVP. The Thunder are the fourth seed. And honestly, though, Steve Nash's regression, he's only still a 90 overall at the age 37. Uh, it's not as bad, I guess, because of his. He doesn't really rely on athleticism and shooting, so it's it's kind of aged gracefully. He's done. He's done pretty solid. I mean, he's still out there performing. He scored over 25,000 points. He only played fifty nine games of this season, so that's cause for concern. I wonder how he is on the three point ranks because he's shooting a lot of threes. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I don't know if this will be his final season or not. But look at that. Spurs have Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan decided to eventually go on the Spurs. So he always finds his way back. Yao Ming is there, too. That's an interest- this is an interesting team. This is a tough team, tough matchup. We'll see how they can fare in the first round. Will the Thunder get out? They will not lose in seven. So I don't know if Steve, that- Steve Nash was pretty solid in the playoffs. I mean, the scoring, obviously the fish wasn't that great. But definitely facilitated a lot more, which is cool to see. Um, but... Unfortunately, after a championship run, could not get back to the finals. So, so far he's been to two finals, one finals MVP. I mean, that's pretty solid heat. Get back to the finals, beat the Suns. LeBron wins the finals MVP. Uh, does Steve Nash retire? He does not. He's still in the league. So we'll see if he decides to stay in Oklahoma City or maybe go to a different team. All right, Steve Nash is going to stay loyal to the team that he won a championship with. Um, so he's sticking, sticking, in, uh, sticking in Oklahoma City. Uh, to play with Kevin Duckworth Jr. still. So, I mean, it's still a pretty good team. Still should be able to compete. Uh, we'll see how he can hold up. He is starting to regress a little bit. Ninth down to 88. But he still should be a pretty competent player, at least next year. At least this upcoming season. And maybe next year a little bit as well. But I think after that, he's probably going to end up retiring. I'll show you guys last season, just because, like, they didn't make a deep playoff run. I was hoping maybe they would. Maybe this is the year they can, or another season, where they could maybe try to get another championship four seed this time around. Steve Nash still in the starting lineup. Put up another he put up a good season last year and put up another solid year this year so he's still doing really well uh and yeah i mean he's had a good career i mean i think though he might be coming close to the end of his career i mean listen though he's still an 86 so i mean he can still contribute uh this past season he played all 82 games as well so that's impressive um so good stuff there from steve steve nash man and he also is making a ton of three-pointers he's got over four thousand two hundred threes made he might be the all-time leading three-point uh shooter which is kind of cool Maybe. At least right now. By the time, I, well, you know, when he's retired. But eventually Curry's going to pass him. If we were to assume simulate. Continue to simulate. Um, but yeah, I mean, the team still looks pretty good. Uh, we'll see if they could beat the Suns coming off a championship. Now, Braun is on the team. Al Horford. So definitely a different Suns team uh, than in years past. And that shows as we lose in six. Uh, but still a solid fight, nevertheless. I mean, Nash in the playoffs, numbers definitely dipped. Uh, we'll see if he decides to stick it around another season or if he's going to retire or maybe go to a different team because he was on an expiring, I believe, as the Bulls with James Harden win the finals. Good. And he beats the Rockets, ironically. And, yeah, no, he didn't retire. Oh, good for him. Okay, so he's going to stick it out another season. Now with the same team, so another year on the team they did pick up david west on a very cheap contract so that's cool um yeah they're trying to make one more run they're trying to go for another run here steve nash sean Marion, they are starting to regress i mean they add a little bit of uh, depth with uh, david robinson of uh, david west so and um yeah we'll see how this team ends up doing uh this uh upcoming year once again in possibly steve nash's final season he put up another nice solid year i guess and i mean just taking a quick glance at his uh accolades he's 12 time all-star he's been on all nba a few times nba champion first team all rookie and a finals mvp to boot so i mean he's had a great career especially statistically 
I'd say right now, uh, definitely the game, Steve Nash, is certainly better than in real life. I think he might be the all-time three-point scorer. And he also scored over 30,000 points in his career, which I'm pretty impressed about. And he's making a run at that assist title, but he's not going to get there, even if he plays, like, another couple seasons. Um, it's just too far away. I mean, shot of playing all 82 games, though. Uh, but nevertheless, nevertheless, uh, let's see how they do in the playoffs. I mean, he's got a chance to win another championship here. But it's looking slim, and they lose to the Pelicans in five, uh, seven. And uh, in the playoffs, I mean, he was pretty solid. Yeah, for the most part, he's pretty solid in the playoffs. But unfortunately, not good enough as the team loses in the first round. And, uh, I mean, maybe he goes another year. I highly doubt it. Suns win the finals, LeBron James finals MVP. Uh, does he retire? He does. That's what I figured. So, Nash calling it a career after 18 seasons. It was a good one. It was a good one indeed. He had a good career. Um, let's see if he ends up in the Hall of Fame. Obviously, he will. And we'll look at his. We'll look at all of his stats and see where he ends up on the leaderboards. Hall of Fame inductees. It's a really good class. Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Steve Nash, Vince Carter, who retires four years earlier than I think he did in real life, and then Ray Allen. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Very good, very good class. So yeah, Steve Nash, you can see, uh, was a 12-time All-Star. He was a champion, a Finals MVP. Well, he made a few NBA all NBA teams, nothing too crazy. Ray Allen didn't make any, but he still made it. He made a rookie second team. But he was he, he filled up the statues. Best score out of all everybody here in terms of point PBG. And yeah, Steve Nash, solid career. Um, Jersey retirements, he'll probably get a, his jersey retired. He got it with the Memphis Grizzlies. Didn't he get with the Thunder? Thunder would definitely retire your jersey if you play, you know, that many seasons and deliver a championship and finals MVP. They're not going to not retire your jersey. Uh, but I guess the Grizzlies retiring as well. Uh, a nice little gesture. Uh, so let's see the league uh, history um, and take a look at the records. So... Uh, in, an, in a surprising turn of events, Steve Nash, their 13th all-time uh, leader in points at his retirement, which is pretty insane. Uh, so good for him. In terms of field goals made, he's probably also up here as well. Yeah, 21st. Three-pointers made. Steve Nash is the third, third all-time, third all-time on three-pointers made. 4,500 for his career. That's a really nice number. Peja almost got to nine uh, 5,000, unless he's still in the league. It doesn't look like it because he doesn't have a uniform on. Paul Pierce might break that record, potentially. Um, maybe not. Uh, yeah, probably not. Probably a little far away. Free throws made. I would assume Steve Nash is on here. And he is at 45th. He really doesn't get to the hot line that much. Re yeah, rebounding, he's not going to be on here. I already know that. <laughs> so we don't have to look there. Assist, he ended up third. Uh, John Stockton, number two. Uh, and number one was Magic Johnson, who didn't get that H. Hobby in his uh, set. Uh, block shots, we're not going to see him on here. Might see him on steals, though. Let's see. Steve Nash on steals. Yep, 33rd all time. And then minutes, in case you guys care, he was 18th. And. Uh, Turnovers, 11th. Okay, that, yeah, these don't matter. All right, well, nevertheless, great career. I'd say definitely a better career than he had in real life. Still a Hall of Famer, obviously, no matter what. But, you know, getting that championship, finals MVP, I think puts that over the top for him. Plus, statistically speaking, he scored over 30,000 points. So that did not happen in real life. And, uh, yeah, also was third all-time in assist and three-pointers made at the time of his retirement. So I'd say... That puts him over the edge. But that being said, we're going to go to the poll screen and close it. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Thanks for the idea. I uh, appreciate it. Leave me some more ideas down below in the comments. And uh, while you're there, like, subscribe, and join the content. Check out my socials in the description. Get a playlist down there for other videos. And with that being said, I'm going to head on out. We're going to take everybody. See you soon, and peace.